<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little kitty. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, kitty. In fact, everything around us is matter. Yes, my friends. I'm sure you must have heard the term matter before and how everything that we come across in our lives, like the air you inhale, the books you read, toys you play with, I mean, literally everything is made of matter. Still confused? Don't worry, my friends. In today's episode, let us explore what is matter and its state and find the answer to an important question. Why matter matters so much? Zoom in! So, what is matter? Well, as we all know, that matter is everything around you. Rocks, pen, water, even you are made of matter. But the vital question is, how do you define matter? Well, according to science, matter is defined as everything that has weight and takes up space or has volume. I'm sure you are already aware of what weight is. It's just how heavy something is. But what do we mean by taking up space or volume? Volume is the amount of space something occupies. For example, the ball takes up a small volume while the sun occupies a large volume or takes larger space to fit in. Likewise, different states of matter will fill volumes in different ways depending upon how big, little, long or short the object is. But why? Why do they vary in looks and sizes? Well, that's because matter comes in different states and the three most common states are known as solid, liquid and gas. Let's start with the most obvious state of matter that is the solid state. There are objects that keep their own shape and do not flow in a given temperature. Examples of solids are study table, sugar cubes, glass, rock, most metals, etc. Ice is a solid as well, but when it melts, it becomes liquid. Speaking of liquids, they flow, move around a little and fill up containers you put them in, like a water bottle. So we can say they occupy the space inside the containers we fill them in. But what about the weight of water? Well, we all know that water has weight if you carry a water bottle with you. And as you drink from the bottle, it gets lighter and lighter, giving you a good idea about the weight of the water. Next comes an interesting state of matter that can't be seen easily, but it's there all the time. Like the air we inhale, which is a gas, the third main state of matter. But I know you must be wondering, is air really matter? And if it is, then how we see if it takes up space and has weight? Well, we can prove that with a simple experiment at your home. To do so, take an empty glass and lower it vertically downward in a vessel filled with water. You will observe that the level of water inside the glass is less than the level of water outside it. It is because the air within the glass is trapped and does not allow the water to rise up. It means air has occupied the space inside the glass. Now, when you tilt the glass aside, you will see bubbles of air rushing out and it is replaced by water, hence proving that air occupies space. But how do we show that air has weight? 
Take two empty balloons and tape them to the ends of a meter stick. Then hang the meter stick on a string so that it's perfectly balanced. Now, blow up one of the balloons and stick it back to the meter stick. You will find the end of the air-filled balloon will bend downwards because of air giving it the extra weight. Hence proving the fact that air is matter as it has volume and weight. It's trivia time! Did you know that there are more than three states of matter? Yes, besides the solid, liquid and gaseous, there are also three further different states of matter that have been created by man. These are plasma, fermionic condensates and Bose-Einstein condensates. It's question time! Today's question is, what are the three main states of matter? Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!